Hey, how's it going guys? It's Sam back here again with another video review for you guys. And today we're going to be taking a look at the SanDisk Extreme 200 gigabyte, 240 gigabyte SSD. So this is SanDisk's newest SSD. Uh, they just announced this a couple weeks ago, probably if that, and it's only been on sale for about that much time. But um, normally we don't see a lot of uh, SSDs from SanDisk. We've only really seen the uh, SanDisk Ultra from before, and that wasn't, you know, very fast or anything, you know, crazy uh, benchmark breaking kind of thing. Uh, but at least with this one, we are moving to some toggle NAND. So um, that's probably going to be the fastest uh, type of NAND that you're going to see. You're going to see that kind of NAND in like the Intel 520 series, uh, Patriot Wildfire, things like that. Um, and it is uh, Sandforce SF2281 controlled, so um, I'm thinking this thing will be pretty fast. Uh, SanDisk does rate this at 550 megabytes per second read and 520 megabytes write. So it's going to be fast. Uh, at least I feel it. So um, let's open up the box here and uh, let's let's take a look at this SSD it's actually very nice it's got a black metallic uh, cover the entire thing is like metallic uh, material so should be durable and uh, as you can see it's 240 gigs it runs off the SATA 36 gigabit per second interface so make sure if you're buying this SSD that you have that in order to take full advantage of the uh, performance this drive offers. So uh, without further ado, let's jump into some of the benchmarks of this SSD and then we'll also take a closer look at some of the pictures as well. So the first benchmark I ran was the Addo Disk benchmark. Now this is a very common benchmark uh, for SSDs. And as you can see with a Q depth of four, uh, I was able to achieve about 528 megabyte writes and 556 megabyte per second reads. Now, both of these numbers are higher than manufacturer rated specifications, and that's always very, very nice to see. All right, so the second benchmark we ran was the AS SSD benchmark. And as you can see, the SSD is capable of around 513 or so megabytes per second sequential read and 275 megabyte per second sequential writes. So you might be wondering why the writes dropped a lot. And that's because this is a Sandforce SF2281 based SSD. Now that means it won't uh, handle incompressible data as well as compressible data. Since AS SSD uses incompressible data to test, that's why the write speeds drop so much. Now that being said, 275 megabyte per second writes is definitely among the fastest I've tested. Uh, additionally, we can also see that uh, it's getting some very nice 4K and 4K64 read and write speeds as well, along with some very, very low access times. So the drive will be very snappy in day-to-day -day use. All right, so again here with Crystal Dismark, we are seeing some very fast read and write speeds as well. Now the benchmark on the left is obviously ran using zero fill, which means it is mostly compressible data. And the one on the right is random fill, which is mostly incompressible data. And as we all know, Sandforce drives do perform better uh, when the data set is a uh, is compressible or zero fill. So uh, there you have it. And this is uh, definitely one of the fastest SSDs we've tested to date. So uh, I'll explain why in just a second. All right, so this is one of the fastest SSDs we've tested to date here. And that's because it uses high-end SanDisk produced 24 nanometer toggle mode NAND. Now, additionally, similarly to Micron and Intel, SanDisk does own, uh, SanDisk actually jointly owns a fab with Toshiba. So that means they're most likely getting the first pick when it comes to the NAND chips that roll off the manufacturing line. And uh, additionally, they also get to customize the firmware specifically to the NAND chips themselves uh, that are going into the SSD. So um, they do have a couple advantages here. Now, toggle mode NAND, of course, is typically faster than synchronous and asynchronous NAND as well. And uh, the benchmarks do reflect that.
Other than that, that's all I really have for you guys. So if you guys are interested in this SSD, you can find the full written review in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to thumbs up as it really does help me a lot. I want to thank SanDisk for sending this out for review and I want to thank all of you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later.